Despite the growth of open datasets that are available to the public, it can still be difficult to discover datasets that are both high quality and have clearly defined license and usage terms. To help solve this challenge, IBM created the Data Asset Exchange, or DAX, which we'll introduce in this video. DAX provides a trusted source for finding open datasets that are ready to use in enterprise applications. These datasets cover a wide variety of domains, including images, video, text, and audio. Because DAX provides a high level of curation for dataset quality, as well as licensing and usage terms, DAX datasets are typically easier to adopt, whether in research or commercial projects. Wherever possible, DAX aims to make datasets available under one of the variants of the Community Data License Agreement in order to foster data sharing and collaboration. DAX also provides a single place to access unique datasets, in particular from IBM research projects. To make it easier for developers to get started with using the datasets, DAX also provides tutorials in the form of notebooks that walk through the basics of data cleaning, pre-processing, and exploratory analysis. For some datasets, there are also notebooks illustrating how to perform more complex analysis, such as creating charts, statistical analysis, time series analysis, training machine learning models, and integrating deep learning using the Model Asset Exchange, a project closely related to DAX and also available on the IBM developer website. In this way, DAX helps developers to create end-to-end -end analytic and machine learning workflows and to consume open data and models with confidence under clearly defined license terms. Let's say you found a dataset that might be of interest to you. On the dataset page, you can download the compressed dataset archive from cloud storage, explore the dataset using Jupyter Notebooks, review the dataset metadata, such as format, licensing terms, and size, and preview some parts of the dataset. Most datasets on DAX are complemented by one or more Jupyter Notebooks that you can use to perform data cleaning, pre-processing, and exploratory analysis. These notebooks run as-is in Watson Studio, IBM's data science platform. Jupyter Notebooks and Watson Studio are covered later in this course. In this video, you've learned about IBM's open data repository, the Data Asset Exchange. In the hands-on lab, you'll have a chance to explore the repository.